Good morning, beautiful people. <laughs> I hope that you are all well, everybody. Um, it's that time of the week again where I thought we would chill and have a chat. <laughs> it's a lovely sunny day today in Manchester, so which is absolutely wonderful. But the seasons are changing. Um, we are now heading towards the end of summer and winter is about to come. Well, autumn first. <laughs> Let's not rush to get to winter, Mary. Um, autumn is on its way and then winter will come. But I just thought I would discuss the wonderful season that we have had, um, Eric and I, at the allotment and what we've grown and what I've managed to, how I've managed to preserve everything that we have grown at the allotment. So I've got a few things. I've got a lovely sunflower. We've got about three or four of these. And those were seeds given to us from work. Um, the onions, which you have seen, red and green ones. We've got different types of squashes. We've got a nice big pumpkin. <laughs> Potatoes. Um, I have preserved beetroot. So, get it through beetroot. I preserve beetroot in some vinegar. I have made jams. We have two types of jam this year. We've got carrot and plum jam. I have preserved tomatoes because the tomatoes, oh man, once they start, they just keep on coming. So I've preserved tomatoes. I have dried up apples. Now these apples are not apples we've grown, but the apples that um, people at the allotment grew. And there was just too many apples. So I pick them and then I bring them home and I dehydrate them. So I dry them and they make an amazing snack. No added sugar, nothing. They're perfect for that. Um, I have also dried up some apples for my granddaughter. Mother loves them. And I have done a few new things this year. One of the new things that I have done is that I have preserved cabbages. Um, Daddy grew a lot of cabbages. It was our bumper cro uh, crop this year was definitely the cabbages. So I've learned to bottle up um, the cabbages. They just preserved in salt water and then the jars are sealed. Um, and when you're ready to use it, you just pop your lid open, empty out the water, and they're good to go. So absolutely wonderful. So that's something new that I've done this year. I have also dried up some oranges. That's new. <laughs> I'm using the dehydrator a lot. I'm trying to anyways. I also have dried up some cucumber, um, onions, and peppers. And that's another way of preserving the cucumbers because the cucumbers were a lot again this year. And then the last thing that I have done this year is that I've made some lemon balm tea. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll make a video of how I use the fresh lemon balm to make lemon balm tea. And it's a lovely tea. But I've also dried up some lemon balm. So yeah, quite a, an amazing season to say the least. Um, it's kind of bittersweet when we come to the end of the growing season because you want it to continue, but um, that's not how life works. <laughs> that is not how life works. Um, we go through different seasons in our lives with different things. And um, something that I'm trying to do is to not rush through the season that I'm currently in because I feel like we forget to enjoy the season we're in. We start to look forward to much. Um, so my lesson is at the minute to myself is stop in the season that you're in. Enjoy the season that you're in. Um, make the most of the season that you're in because soon that season will pass and soon that season will move on because that is how life is. That is exactly how life is. I don't want to lie. I'm enjoying the season that I'm in at the minute. <laughs> I am in absolutely loving the season that I find myself in. That I think both Derek and I find ourselves in. We are happy, very happy. Um, we've enjoyed this short summer that we've had, but we're trying to make the most of it. And we don't want it to come to an end this season. We don't. And like you see, this is an absolutely bumper crop, bumper crop of different things, amazing vegetables that he has grown. Um, and that we've managed to preserve absolutely wonderful. So, yeah, I just want to stop in it and enjoy it. Um, 
and just yeah enjoy it enjoy the moment <laughs> enjoy the moment i think we need to learn to stop and enjoy the season don't get me wrong there are some seasons that we are not content in some seasons that we are not happy in that we just want the seasons to rush through and just be done i get that and that, that's what happens but there are good and bad seasons in life and likewise in the garden there are good and bad crops in the garden for example our potatoes last year were bumper potatoes, big potatoes. But this year we didn't get many big ones, but a lot of small ones. But we're still trying to make the most of it. And that's what the same with life. It's even in the bad seasons that we find ourselves in, that we still need to try and make the most of that time. Learn something new, um, you know, and then the next time that season comes along, I'm better equipped to deal with it. Um, to deal with that because I'll say to, I'll say to myself you've been here before you you made it through you know what you have to do to get through <laughs> so yes so that applies to to, to to not so happy seasons that we find ourselves in I trust you are all well I really do I trust that whatever season you find yourself in that you will be able to get through it and enjoy it if it's a good season if it's not learn something from it Learn something new from it. Um, that's the leaf I'm taking from this is to one, stop. Enjoy the season that I find myself in. Two, if the next season is not a happy season, I'm going to aim to learn something new from it. I'm going to aim to equip myself better for that bad season so that when another one like that comes along, I'll be like, you know what, you got it. God's got your back. You've got this. You can make it through. So, yeah, people, have an absolutely wonderful day. I'm going to just ah, lift up <laughs> the pumpkin. Oh, I dropped the sunflower as well. But I just wanted to lift up this pumpkin. It is not measured it yet, but it's the biggest one yet. Um, wow. And these amazing pumpkins. Um, I take some to work for a friend at work. She absolutely loves these. But they are amazing pumpkins. So, yeah, Natalie. One of these has got your name on it. <laughs> but yeah, oh, we've enjoyed our growing season. I have enjoyed the harvest season. Uh, <laughs> I do get overwhelmed. But nonetheless, I have made it through this amazing, amazing season. And like I say, I am happy where we find ourselves at the minute. And I thank God for this amazing season we're in. So yeah, on that note, people, I trust that you have an absolutely awesome week and yeah don't forget to laugh <laughs> life is too short not to i'll just tell you a quick story i don't know if you saw my previous video but this morning i woke up and i lost my glasses up and down the house looking for these glasses well it didn't just start off with me losing the glasses i then went and i stabbed my toe on the bed yo <laughs> gonna get better it's only gonna get better so yeah take care of yourselves take care of yourselves and yeah don't forget enjoy the season you find yourself in love you all and i will catch you next week see you bye <laughs>